Hey everybody, it's John, your Indian Cinemaniac, back with another Tennis Minute review. Okay, as of this uh, recording, uh, Ralph has just announced that the big show is ending its, uh, I don't know, four or five year run. And he's going to be trying something different with his wife uh, live around. I saw his set. Very impressive. So um, so he's going to be doing that. And since he's going to be doing it in studio, obviously, I'm not going to be able to join them because uh, I live in Boston where they live in um, down south. So uh, good luck to them. I, I you know, um, one of the things that he mentioned in that um, little intro is that you know the uh, the gang from the big show will be going there and doing some shows? I've also talked to some of them and uh, I welcome them on to the tennis minute review. You know, bring one of them on like we did during the break uh, when Ralph took a break last year, um, and and we'll bring them on for uh, for a couple of shows. So uh, uh, the gang won't all be together, but they're uh, not disbanding disbanding completely. So the show must go on and. Um, and uh, Ralph also announced that I'm going to continue to do these tennis minute reviews. I'm still enjoying now. Maybe, maybe at some point I'll get bored with the Indian films. So far, that hasn't happened. Um, um, and I'm going to continue this because I, I, I love this. I love the films, and I really love the back and forth with all of you. So thank you for um, making it um, worth the effort to do these shows. Um, so anyway, that's my little blurb at the beginning. So. So we watched something. Um, we watched something last time uh, that was that was very upbeat. Uh, this one is. Um, I'm not sure how to describe this film. So this is from 2003. This is Kal Ho Na Ho, or there may be no tomorrow. Um, this is an SRK film, and it was directed by Nick Nick Jill Advani, and it stars Shah Rukh Khan who I've seen in a bunch of stuff now, Duncan, Duncan, or Dunky. My name is Khan, Devdas, Dawn. Uh, I mean, I've seen him in a bunch of stuff. Freddy G. Zinta, who was, uh, I've seen in Veer Zara, Dil Chantahai. Saif Ali Khan, who I saw in Dil Ch Chantahai, Sacred Games. And that's a very different Saif Ali Khan. And Omkara, uh, Jaya Bakchan, who was in the original Sholay, and in the movie Pa, starring her husband, was the narrator. Uh, and Sonali Bendre, um, who has um, a small role in this, but a pivotal one. And um, just a little, some tidbits about the film. Karina Kapoor was offered the lead, turned it down because she wanted more money. That would have been interesting with her. It would have been a little bit different. Uh, most a, lo uh, a lot of it was shot in New York, but a big chunk was shot in Toronto because they thought it'd be a lot cheaper to shoot in Toronto and ended up not being true. Uh, there's one scene um, where um, the lead character and his and th their neighbor, Shah Rukh Khan, they shot that in Brooklyn, actually in Brooklyn. Um, also, uh, the, the second lead, played by Saif Ali Khan, was offered to Salman Khan, and he turned it down because he didn't want to play second to SRK. I mean, am I wrong? Anybody that's in a movie with SRK is going to be second, right? Am I wrong about that? I don't think so. Um, the title song, I guess, became a big hit, Live and Laugh Because You Might Not Get a Second Chance, which is the theme of this movie, obviously. It's the first time... Um, I mean, I've seen this a few times, but not quite like this. Uh, jokes about uh, being gay. Now, this is 2003, and I probably couldn't pull this off today, but it was pretty funny. The maid thought, of the, the servant of the maid, I don't know what she, exactly she was, the help. Um, she she thought uh, SRK and um, Saif's character w was was gay because they kept giving that innuendo. It was, it was a funny thing throughout the movie. Uh, what else? Frankie, the DJ, is Ali, actually a fitness instructor. And the other thing they did in this film, and that's why it's hard to categorize this film as I was watching it, they break the fourth wall a lot. And and uh, again, I, I assume everybody knows what that is, but if you don't, it's when a character in a film looks directly to camera and talks to the audience. They do that a lot. Woody Allen's known for that. Mel Brooks is known for that. Uh, but they did that a lot in this movie. Um Okay, so let's talk about the story. 
the story. So as I'm watching this film, and again, it's hard to categorize this film because the first hour is very, uh, the only word I can think of is whimsical sound effects. Uh, some of the special effects they do, like someone pops into a frame all of a sudden. So when I, as I was watching it and as they introduce SRK and it takes a while for his character to show up. Um, but when he does, it's after they pray for an angel. So as I'm watching the film, I immediately thought, I don't know if you've ever seen uh, Cary Grant, um, call, a movie called The Bishop's Wife, where he plays an angel. There's also a movie in 1990 called Almost an Angel starring Paul Hogan. And throughout that film, you don't know if he's an angel or not till the very end of the film. That's where I thought this movie was going because it was very, uh, you know, SRK shows up and all of a sudden he is ingrained in this family across the street that's been having some problems. Um, and then as I'm watching it, I realize that this really is not exactly a remake, but it's definitely influenced by the 1971 film Anand with... Um, uh, with Rajesh Khanna and Amitam Bakchan. Um, as the movie was going on, you, you kind of realize that that's really what, what this film is. Now, obviously, it's tailored towards Shah Rukh Khan, which uh, you know makes sense because you got Shah Rukh Khan in your film. But um, it was... It, it, I'm not sure how... I, this was a weird one for me. I liked it. Don't misunderstand me. I liked it, but I, I'm not quite sure. It was it was a like typical Indian movies. It was a or Hindi movies. It was a uh, tale of two movies. The first hour and a half was kind of silly and funny and goofy, and then it takes a more. I won't say it takes a really dramatic turn, but it does take a more serious turn. But again, you know, because I, I reviewed Anand and, and in Anand, the lead character, he was dying and you knew it from the very beginning. Right. And he still was upbeat and positive till the very end. That's when that got, you know, melodramatic when he was dying. This film, you don't find out he's dying right away. Well, OK, so the story, the story is about a young girl. Um, what was her name? Uh, Nania, Nana who is, uh, in SRK's words, our nerd. And she's got a best friend, Rohit, played by uh, Saif Ali Khan. And they're really good friends. So, of course, it's got that Harry Met Sally vibe. Two friends, can they be boyfriend and girlfriend? So um, they have some issues, the family, and they're praying for an angel to show up. And a very dramatic scene. And, you know, And I've said this before in all the films I've watched, these lead actors, Amir Khan, Shah Rukh Khan, uh, Amitabh Bakchan, their entrances are always, um, Salman Khan, they're always amazing. This was just, what an entrance uh, for Shah Rukh Khan as he comes into New York Harbor on the front of a boat and you only see him from the back. You don't see his face as he goes into the harbor and you see the city. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Um, so so that was that was super cool and then uh you know there's a scene where someone bumps into her and dumps coffee on on the uh, lead nanya and later on you find out it was shower khan you don't know it in the moment they flash back to that so the story is about him coming into their lives helping them like a guardian angel that's why i thought what i thought and it's a love triangle he loves her. She, she who doesn't think she has the ability to love, falls in love with him. And, she, and you know, it's funny. Uh, her character, you look, you looked at her at the beginning. You know, she was cute. You know, but nothing like Karina Kapoor, if you know what I'm saying. And I think you do. Um, but then they, she went in a club with Rohit in um, Amman, and she starts drinking. Now she takes off her glasses. She takes off her jacket, and she's dancing and she's a friggin' smoke show okay i'm like the hell is that so now you got a little love triangle 
so, so then there's this big thing where um, she finds out that he's married or she thinks he's married. Amon's, uh, Shah Rukh Khan's character. And that's what they lead you to believe with a couple of conversations with this beautiful doctor. Well, you don't know she's a doctor yet. Um, and she's another one. Absolutely gorgeous. So, so even though he loves her and she loves him, the movie deals with the aftermath of finding out he's married. Now she's heartbroken, and and now Shah Rukh Khan wants to fix her up with her friend, Rohit, who loves her, but she doesn't love him, only thinks of him as a friend. Now you find out the the backstory that, that Aman is dying, and that's a doctor, not his wife. So the the movie is deals with the the tragedy of him dying, obviously. The help as the guardian angel he gives the family. And it's also uh mistaken identity. At one point, there's a blind date and his row hit going to two houses uh to to meet people and they go to the wrong house. So there's that. Then there's the love triangle between Shah Rukh Khan loves her, she loves him, Rohit loves her. Shah Rukh Khan wants to help Rohit get together with her. <clears throat> and that comes back to bite them too because she finds out about it. It's a little Cyrano. There's a scene where he's got, <laughs> it's pretty funny actually, he's got a headset on and Shah Rukh Khan's character is giving him advice while he's got the headset on. And that's a funny scene. They do a split screen too where, where they show um, Amon giving the directions and Rohit doing the directions. So that was really funny. And then you got to the tragedy part of, you know, he's actually dying um, and, and the way they handle that. So this is not a new story, obviously. I mentioned a bunch of movies that are similar to this. So I give the story a three. It was good. It wasn't great, the story. I mean, I've seen this a million times with the the person with a heart of gold who's dying. Um, so, you know, it, it was good. The music, uh, not the music, the uh, the performances. You know, this is one of those films where, and I, I've seen a bunch of films recently where Shah Rukh Khan, like, was, gave an excellent acting performance. Like, like Swadesh, I think, is one of his best. A real character. Um, this film, and I, I liked, I really liked his performance, but it was, it was the Shah Rukh Khan personality performance, right? He comes in, he wins everybody over. He's super happy. He does them. He's, I mean, right after the introduction, he does a huge musical number, which I'll get to uh, when I talk about the songs. Obviously, he's the reason why you watch a film like this, right? Because it's, you know, it's it's Shah Rukh Khan. It's King Khan. It's SRK. It's not Armir Khan, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so, uh, you know, and, and I'm not, <laughs> it sounds like I'm being critical. I'm not. But I, I'd rather see him, like when it comes to performances, I'd rather see him in something a little more real and grounded because I think he's so good at it than the big personality Shah Rukh Khan. Um, the, the other cast, uh, uh, you know, Rohit, uh, Saif Ali Khan and, and Preeti, um, I thought they were, I thought they were good. Um, I find Saif Ali Khan at this time in his career, <clears throat> based on the stuff I've seen later on is a little, um, we use a term in acting called mugging. He does a lot of mugging, which is big, you know, and maybe that's, maybe that's not his fault. Maybe that's the direction. And then she, who I really liked the way she evolved. Um, although in the, you know, the last 45 minutes of the movie, all she was doing was crying. So that got a little old after a while. And it is a long movie. Um, so overall, I, I guess I'd have to give and and uh, by the way the the uh, rest of the cast, the families, I thought were 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 good. They I thought they added to it. You know the mothers, um, the the sister. And there's a grandmother in it. You know who's like it's cold in the house. She's the 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 um, the mother's husband's mother who committed suicide. 
she's sitting at the table and she's complaining all the time. She's sitting at a table with gloves and a hot water bottle complaining about how cold it is. And they adopted a little girl, Gia, who she doesn't like because she was adopted. And that comes back later on too. I'll talk about that plot twist in a minute. So I guess I give the performances a three. Um, you know, it's not that I didn't like the performances, but I like a little more grounded and, and some of this stuff was pretty over the top. Uh, so, so a three, the music. Well, I have to tell you, uh, the first musical number, the first big musical number is Shah Rukh Khan is in this Brooklyn neighborhood with all the neighborhood kids and the families. And all of a sudden you start listening to the music and I'm going, I know this song. Wait a minute that's pretty woman. And that's what it was. They, they remixed it and they put some new words in it, but it was pretty woman. That number was cool. Uh, it, it was just such a visually, uh, you know, um, and, and the music was great. I, I love the, the remix of this and everyone just looked like they were having so much fun. And I'm sure these musical numbers are a bear to film but they really looked like they were having a great time. And a lot of the music was like that when they did the musical numbers, high energy, very colorful, uh, the incidental music, uh, it's not like it stood out, which, which I don't necessarily think is bad. You, you don't want to be overwhelmed like a Christopher Nolan film. They, they always overwhelm you with the music. They didn't do that with this, but the musical numbers, I, I really did like the, the choreography, the colors, uh, the music, but the one that obviously stood out for me the most was the pretty woman one, which was, and I know that they paid a ton of money to get the rights to that, to do it. So, so I really like, and they had the American flag flying in the background. Then there's another song where they turn their restaurant. It reminded me, I don't know if you watch Seinfeld or not, but um, uh, there was a restaurant tour who had a restaurant and it wasn't doing well. So Jerry convinces them to go Pakistani and it bombs. Well, these guys, have a diner and they decide to go Indian and there's a musical number where they're the pride of India and they're, they're changing the place. They're taking down the American flag, putting up the Indian flag. And all of a sudden they get a ton of business. So that there was a great song there too. Then at the wedding, uh, I think it was the engagement, not the wedding uh, where SRK has his first big heart issue. So I'm actually going to give the music a four. And the main reason is for that pretty woman song. I loved that song. So overall, I hate to uh I hate to to do this because I don't think I've done this yet, but I'm gonna give it a 3.5. Um I think the music saved it. The ending, which well, wait, before I uh, I, I want to talk about a couple of things. Let's see. Um Okay, so they did this one little thing where they, at the beginning when they introduced each character, it was a freeze frame with their name next to it. It was really interesting the way this was shot. But but I will tell you that the first hour and a half looked a lot different than the second half of the movie. Now, I know in these movies there's tonal shifts, but there was a visual tone, tonal shift too. The first half was, and I've already used the word once, but it was much more whimsical than the second half. And I think that's part of the reason why they did stuff like that. And they also... Uh, they had, um, oh, they, they referred to a hairstyle from Dil Chata Chant, High. So again, reference that I got, okay? Another reference that I got. <laughs> and then one of the songs, they do the song, What is Love? And then what they do is they show all different types of couples talking about love, uh, which was, you know, which was cute. Again, right to camera. Then they do this thing where um, Aman's going to win for Rohit win Nanya back uh, six days to win her back and each day somebody else would would go into the scene turn to the camera and say day one and then walk away well to my surprise one of the greatest Indian actors Bollywood actors in screen history was number six and that was Uday Chopra yeah, I, I, he, I'm just, you know, I don't mean that because he's, he's weak, he's weak, but I did recognize him. So I thought that was kind of funny. Um, so then they did this thing, which I, I didn't quite understand towards the end of the film, they recreated scenes from the beginning and replaced Amon or replaced Rohit, who was in the scenes originally with Amon. I didn't quite understand why they did that. Then you find out, now here's here's like the really dramatic thing you find out. The father who committed suicide had an affair on the mother. 
and had a baby. And the baby was Gia, the one that they adopted. And nobody knew but the mother and the older daughter. So the grandmother, who was so mean to this girl, then realizes that's her blood grandchild. So that was pretty dramatic. Um, so so then it ends with uh, he's in the hospital. And this was just like an end, too. He's in the hospital bed dying, and he's not connected to anything. He's just in the bed. And that was a cute scene, too, because at one point, the only one left in the room is him and Rohit. And Rohit is holding his hand, and he goes, I'm gonna, uh, SRK says, I'm going to sleep for a little bit. And he closes his eyes, and then Rohit's like, Aman, Aman. And he opens his eyes and says, not yet, not yet, and smiles. So you never actually see him die. Then it flashes forward 20 years. Rohit and, Rohit and Nanya are married, happily married, and they're talking about um, Aman and their child, and G is there too, obviously 20 years older. And then it ends with, she says, my name is Nanya Catherine, whatever her last name was. This is my story. And it's funny because in Anand, Anand, it starts off with the doctor saying, this isn't my story, this is Anand's story. So, uh, so, so yeah, this was a, uh, you know, this was a, I, I, I like this movie. I mean, it wasn't, I found it a little long and I, I, you, you got, you know, that I say this a lot, but there were some things that probably you could have cut out and it would have shortened it up a little bit, probably didn't need to be that long. And the only, the only time I complain about the length is while I'm watching it, if, if I go, okay, nothing's happening here, nothing's going on. Okay, it seems to drag a little bit, but overall, I really liked it. I mean, three point five is a pretty good, good one. So I don't want to hear complaints about that. Okay, so SRK, and he did this too, by the way. He did this. I saw that. He did this. I love that. I love that SRK move. When I do, because I do stand up training. You know, I'm in front of a group of people. I'm starting to do that. That's kind of my signature move now. Yeah, I stole it, but people here aren't going to know unless, you know, they're from India, which has happened, okay? They recognize that. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Woohoo. Okay, so the next film off the viewer choices is 2012 Shanghai. Um, I don't know what it's about. Uh, I don't know if it's about Shanghai, but I'm going to find out. OK, now here's the other thing. Um, I just put out a community poll and here's what I'm doing. I'm still I've got about uh, 15 films off the viewer choice. OK, so I'm still I'm going through that. I'm going through it and we'll finish it. But what I'd like to do is sprinkle some newer films um, into that. So every couple of films, I'm going to do a newer film. So I put on a community poll five films from last year, 2023. That looked interesting to me. I want you to vote on it and tell me which one you think I should watch. And, and I'll, what I'll do is, depending on the percentages, I'll, I'll use that as the order that I'm going to watch them. Okay? So uh, take a look at the poll. Give me your vote. Let me know what you think. But the next one is going to be Shanghai. Okay? All right, everybody. Listen, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate the feedback. I appreciate you taking part in the viewer polls. I never, ever take that for granted and i will never take you for granted that's my promise to you okay that's it thanks for watching everybody we'll talk to you soon with another tennis minute review thanks for watching everybody